What's going on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Reefer, coming at you today's video, which is all about how we power every single fish tank in the fish room on a closed repair system. So, let's go! Okay, so for those of you who follow the channel along, you will notice that my last two videos, I have been wearing this hoodie and these shorts. I do change and I do shower. I'm just literally doing back-to-back -back videos, so do not panic. I may smell a little bit because I'm sweaty in the fish room, but this isn't smelly vision, so we're all good. Anyway, if you're new, I'm Jack the Baldwin Reefer. I specialise in tropical and cold water fish. Cold water being over here, if you don't know what that is. Link above. Now, the numero uno question that your bald friend gets asked in the fish room, very similar to the last video, which was the light one, was about your electric bills, massive. Well, no, it's 240 quid a month, pal. Let's say the number house is 80 quid. This place costs me 60. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I just vape. That's it, it's my only vice. Other than my beautiful fiance and three children, this is my only hobby, not that they're a hobby, it's they're more of a lifestyle choice. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get into it. So, closed repair system. For those of you who followed along from day one, you know how I ran the air system in here. It was a hose pipe that I ran around the fish room. I say ran around, it sort of went down one wall and then back off over the middle. I used massive pieces of airline and it looked horrendous when I watched the videos back. So with the custom aquarium stands that I've had done, I thought, you know what, Jack, it's time to upgrade my friend, stop being a little cheapskate. That's exactly what I've done. Uh, I've done a closed loop air system. Now, for those of you who don't know, I will show you shortly. Um, it's basically a piece of tubing that runs all the way around the fish room, powered by one centralized air system, uh, which again, I'll show you in a moment with an ingenious hack into getting a 25 mil into a 32 mil. Uh, piece of piping and I mean utter genius I've actually outdone myself this time guys um, but yeah it powers every single one of the fish rooms in here the tubing has air on running off it and that in turn powers the sponge filters which as you guys already know I run everything in the fish room on sponge filters super cheap super reliable never breaks down needs cleaning twice a month and it doesn't cost me anything on electric because the one centralized air pump is powered at all so yeah, let me swing you around and show you exactly what I mean. Here she is. This is the tubing that I had mentioned. Runs all the way around the fish room. Held on with these little brackets. I think the brackets cost me 79p each. Coupling systems are about 84p each. Can't bother to show you down that end. Corners cost me about 94p each. This tubing comes in 2.4 meter sections. I think that cost me about 364 each. Normally I'll go to uh, screw fix. This time I went to tool station. It was on the way to screw, screw fix. <laughs> it was there first. I thought, well, I'll give it a whirl. And it turned out cheaper. And the guys have amazing customer service, which I thought was absolutely superb. Now, this here is what I mean. I've got these little um, air regulators. So to the left, opens it up, <laughs> loads of air comes out. Close it, closes it up, little bit of air come out, and they all run off these um, tubings here. Now, I do have some set up here, which is how I power, obviously, a whole rack. So that's basically what I do. So you've got the top two tanks there, middle two, bottom two. Now, for those of you with keen eyes, you may realise that I've got one spare. Yep, I've got one spare on each one at the moment. It's just simply the way that these are set out. I don't lose any pressure on the bottom ones, or the middle ones, or the top ones. Check out our little Bristol nose surfing right there. But yeah, like I say, offers great service. Mo surf service? Ooh. Offers great surface movement. And like I say, this is the actual power, uh, air pump that powers it itself. My ingenious method of balancing it at the moment doesn't actually go anywhere. 
this end piece here is 25 mil, this hole was 32 mil. So what I got was a 32 mil reducer. So it's 32 reduce into 25, piece of 25 mil tubing in there. Now this, my friends, five points to Gryffindor, if you can put in the comments what it is within the next five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. It is a waste pipe off of a washing machine. And it simply connects onto the end, and I've obviously I've got these little hose uh, clamps on here. Focus, there you go. Got these little hose clamps, hose clamps on there. So this white gungy stuff coming out the side is actually PVC cement. So all you do with this, I'm not going to open it because last time I did, I had a headache for three days because this isn't a well ventilated room. So what you do, in essence, it's like a big piece of cotton wool thing on a metal stick. You just simply splooge it in the end, stick it in, don't bend it for 10 minutes and it dries like cement, aka PVC cement. And it works an absolute dream. This air, fill, this air pump, should, in theory, be able to su supply air to 60 tanks. It's called the Pump 40. So, I don't actually know off the top of my head exactly the uh, the volume of air that comes out of it, a minute or an hour or anything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. All I do know is it works, which is cool. What I'll do is if, as I keep adding tanks on, if I need to get a bigger one, I'll just simply keep that as a spare. It's all, you know me, it's always good to have spares on hand in the background. But yeah, so that's it really for today's video. That is how I'm now powering the fish room. It looks awful, not nice. Blah, 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 blah. Can't get my words out today. Looks an awful lot nicer than the hose pipe method. There you go, slow and steady. Yeah, looks an awful, awful lot nicer than the hose pipe method that I did. It just looked really ugly. I also got reminiscence of some of the screws in here. And that we just sort of caveman styled it in, etc., etc. But like I say, it's not the best. But yeah, so that is some of the big up, three big updates this week uh, of what's been happening in the tropical fish room. Do not fear, my friends, we're gonna get back to some DIY builds. I wanted to ask your opinion, hit me up in the comments down below. Shall we do this tank here into a reef tank? Now I know I am a saltwater scrub. Uh, yeah, saltwater scrub. Freshwater dub. Basically, I know an awful lot about freshwater, but I don't know an awful lot about salt water. I have kept salt water tanks in the past before, but I'm thinking a cheap, cheap, under a hundred pound reef tank. Reckon we can do it? Hit me up in the comments below and let me know if that's something you want to see. If not, we'll scratch the idea, we'll use it for someone else. Um, but yeah, follow me on social media. Uh, you know the score. Facebook and Twitter is at the Balding Reefer. Instagram slightly different. Popping up just down here right now. Bing. Uh, that is at the dot balding dot reefer. But yeah, we've done that. That's how we pair the fish room. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay happy, please, peoples. But yeah, we've done that. Balding Reefer out.